Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload a new uh, newsletter on your SharePoint collaboration site. Um, so to start out from your main page, all you have to do is if you look for the newsletter and archive link under the school links uh, list, uh, click on that. And on this page, on uh, this test site that we have, we have um, uh, a bunch of other, uh, you know, the web services newsletter listed on here. Um, but uh, all we're going to do is I'm going to upload the one for April 2014, and um, I'm going to upload that file twice. One is going to be listed here under the 2014 uh, category, and the other one is going to replace the one that's uh, being displayed here, uh, which is called uh, current newsletter. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I want you guys to c uh, click on site contents and look for the newsletter icon. Click on that, and uh, on here you can see we've got all the newsletters uh, that we have uploaded so far. Uh, so once again, we're gonna upload them twice. So uh, to do the first one, click on the files tab, go to upload document, browse, and this is the file that I want to upload first. Double click on that. Hit OK. And on here, uh, what I'm going to do is for the um, title, I'm going to leave the name on uh, alone. So for the title, I'm going to name it and follow the same naming convention that's on here. Uh, this you can you can uh, you know name it however your name convention is. Uh, for the category, I'm going to put newsletter. And for the year, I'm going to put 2014 because that's where uh, this one is. It's for April of 2014. And then hit save. And then next, what uh, you can do just to make things uh, easier, uh, you can take the other file that you have since we don't need to fill out any of the metadata is to just click and drag it and drop it in and it's going to tell you that a file with the same name has uh, is already exists and yes we do want to replace it and once it does that it might take uh, uh, just a few seconds okay once it uh, uploads you, you get a green bar that says upload uh, complete and you can refresh the page but that really won't do anything for you uh, so now what we're going to do is to go back to that newsletter um, and archive page so click on school home then click on newsletter and archive and you'll see two things one the new one that we just uploaded is listed here under the 2014 um, uh, category or, or, or grouping or if you want our heading um, and the other one, the second one that we uploaded, which is the same file but named differently, um, it's automatically displayed on here. Uh, so this is a, a you know one of the best things ever because I don't have to come on here to this newsletter page and edit it at all. At all. We're using a content query uh, web part on here, and then on here we're using a page viewer, uh, but it's looking for that current newsletter. File. So as long as you replace it with the exact same name, you don't have to do anything on here and it's automatically going to display uh, the new uh, newsletter that you upload. 